beautiful community welcome back to my channel wherever you're joining me from across the world today welcome 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 and coming in again with these big messages I can see why my guides and angels brought me back to this deck this week Rebecca Campbell's work your light deck for those of you first time viewers or new subscribers um, big big energies big big messages and clarified by my gorgeous little angel answers and this one today Again, the timing of these, particularly over this eclipse period and this, you know, these planetary shifts that we're going through right now, this one today, beautiful souls, I feel is very relevant for many of you out there, is align your life. Align your life. What is not aligned and what needs to change? And you can see in the picture, right, this divine feminine, obviously, fellas, take it as it resonates. You know, they're talking about soul fragments to me again, which has been coming up very frequently over these past couple of weeks, calling back all of these soul fragments of yourself. But what parts of you, what areas of your life are out of alignment? What has really been deep on your heart and soul that you know you need to change, you need to let go of? These can be people, places and things. These can be relationships. These can also be belief patterns, old programming, childhood trauma, um, addictions, right? Whatever it is, they're just saying self-talk how you speak to yourself, how you think about yourself. So it's so many different aspects, right? So there's so many different, they're just saying like shards of glass. But many of you, it's like this puzzle is really going to start to come in to full alignment over this next season. What is not aligned and what needs to change? And your little clarifier from the angel answers, I can see now why this has come out. So stick around for that one. But align your life, beautiful souls. What in your life right now is no longer in alignment with who you truly are? And I've talked about this before, but we are not the same people that we came into 2024 being beautiful souls. Many of you, I know you have done exponential work on yourselves, inner work, outer work, but all of the above. There's been so many shifts and changes in many of your lives, right? You've gone through a little bit of testing again this year. There's been, you know, trials and tribulations. There's been emotions and the waves, as I've talked about, these waves of healing and emotions going through the collective. But you have changed. You have changed. You have up-leveled. And now more than ever, you can clearly see what is in alignment and what is not, right? It is clear as day. It is like the collective. It is clear as day that you can see the two timelines playing out right now, right? The old 3D matrix, which is hanging on in there, right? By thread, which is about to come down in the most spectacular way. And again, not going to feel pretty. It's probably going to be quite chaotic and a little bit uncomfortable, beautiful souls. But then you've got, right, this new earth, this new timeline, this new vibrational energy. So right now, this it's they're just showing me like a washing machine like this. We've got all of this energy mixing out in the collective and some days are great and other days not so much for some of you you've been going through these waves of feeling great one minute and then down the next or things coming up or things coming out things that are just saying being highlighted to you where things are no longer in alignment they're no longer serving your highest and best good they're no longer serving this path that has been set out for you we are cyclic beings in a constant state of change, of evolution and growth. And that is the planet right now. Change is one of the only certainties in life. For some of you, you may fear change. You may not like change, right? They're just showing me like a person and they're doing this, like a little child, right? Like a block of concrete, just, just locked. They're just saying into position. And for some of you, you've had certain experiences or events or situations that have come up this year, especially, maybe also in previous years, but this year especially, right, that have that have moved you, 
because you've had to move, you've had to change, you've had to pivot, you've had to, you know, shift and move on your feet at times, beautiful souls. When you resist cyclic na the cyclic nature of change, you resist, resist life and feel stuck. And even my voice, right, my words are all mixed and jumbled. It's coming back to that washing machine type energy. But some of you have been resisting this. They're just showing me the tower. There was a tower card, the crumbling, right, happening in many people's lives right now. And people trying to patch, you know, relationships back together or, or parts of themselves back together or trying to slot themselves back into that square peg round hole mentality. It's not going to work anymore. What is not meant to be in your life is literally going to be taken out. And, and if we aren't releasing and letting go with love and working through this transitional period, these towers are going to come in. These very clear misalignments are going, literally they're just saying going to be in your face. You can no longer keep bluffing, they're saying, and moving forward, thinking that everything is okay. Many of us have learned to be who the world wants us to be. We have had masks on. We Again, the square peg in the round hole, I've, I've talked about that a couple of times before, where we have tried, right, to the best of our ability to fit in. But beautiful souls, you were born to stand out, right? You were born to stand out. And I'll get to this card in a second. There comes a time when it is harder to hold onto this facade than it is to embrace who we truly are. And I feel for many of you, this is the time. It's now. It is so in your face as to what is for you and what is not for you that it can no longer be ignored. To surrender to how we have changed and aligned our life to that way of being, right? If you pull this card, you are being called to let go of who you once were or the things that once defined you, the job, the relationship, and the mask or masks you wore, and to embrace who you truly are in this present moment. For some of you, it is going to be multiple towers, multiple misalignments, right? God, your guides and angels want to put you back onto firm ground because in this next season, beautiful souls, you have some amazing things coming in, but you must be, they're just saying, show this card, in full alignment to receive them, right? You cannot be wanting to be in this energy, but there's still things in your life that are like a jigsaw puzzle, like shards of glass. To create courageously step into the person that you came here to be in your full authenticity. <clears throat> and even my voice is going. Now, I talked about voices last week right? The power of your voice, the frequency of your voice, the vibration of your voice. Many of you speakers, writers, singers, you know, artists in some way, shape or form, speakers, content creators, whoever and whatever I'm speaking about. But your voice, your voice, beautiful souls, is the portal to these opportunities that are coming in. But if you are still playing small and staying down and trying to fit in with the old ways and the old systems and the old relationships and the old thought patterns, it is not going to be in alignment. The two cannot coexist. To courageously step into the person that you came here to be in your full authenticity to embrace your weirdness and your, your your uniqueness. I cannot tell you how my words are jumbling and fumbling right now. For some of you, they're just giving me the word stage fright. 
some of your opportunities i've talked about being in the limelight on stages in front of people you know being front and center it doesn't have to be on world stages but in some capacity you beautiful souls are going to be in the spotlight your voice your songs your book your words your courses right your your artistry your creativity in some way shape or form your products there's going to come a time where you are going to be front and center perhaps you have outgrown some relationships or circumstances and it is now time to reassess and bring all the parts of your life into alignment so that they are congruent with who you truly are today because this is you beautiful souls this is you in full alignment do you see i can see now why they've come out together right parts and pieces and parts of you that you're putting back together calling back to you these soul fragments right to fully step into who you were created to be this beautiful magnificent divine soul opportunities money resources destiny helpers whatever it is your arms are in full receiving mode and this beautiful card beautiful souls what an amazing confirmation right opportunities positive growth and expansion is on the horizon for you and i feel for many of you it's going to be as you let go of these thoughts beliefs old programs you know people places and spaces and things relationships etc and fully step into who you truly are this opportunity may bring with it inspiration and insight or it could simply be the chance that you have been waiting for right these destiny moments i've talked about this before as well destiny helpers these once in a lifetime opportunities that are fully <clears throat> my voice is seriously going that are going to set you on this whole other path this whole other trajectory these opportunities are literally going to be life changing you may be seeking to manifest the chance to create changes in your career buy or sell a home or bring romance into your life and my ears are ringing right now whatever your desires your angels are about to open a door of possibilities just for you to step right through cannot make this up beautiful souls coming into full alignment right as we move out of the old and into the new many of you i've said it before you're not going to finish 2024 the same way that you came in and it's taken you this year and a lot of self-discovery and a lot of self-worth to get to this moment but your rewards are coming in you were born for this you were destined for this this is your soul mission your life path and your purpose these are your rewards beautiful souls claim it believe it receive it hit me up in the comments what a beautiful beautiful message for today first time viewers if you feel divinely led hit that little notifications bell i would love to see you in this beautiful and growing community and of course smash that thumbs up button below send this out into the youtube algorithms let those who are meant to see it find it and of course beautiful souls hit me up in the comments let me know is this you claim it believe it receive it and i will see you all in here for the next one have the most beautiful blessed amazing day bye for now